Well, it's great to see this mm. contest getting made, finally. The similar age, only both 28, both unbeaten. Good fight. Yeah, very good fight, and the timing's great as well, as you say, particularly with Brooke Spence coming up towards the end of the year. It feels like a bit of a tournament with finally deciding who the best welterweight in the world is. I love the Porter Thurman fight for the same reasons I like this one, because it just felt like a very competitive world title fight. Um, and it also tested both fighters, as this will. We're going to find out whether Garcia, Garcia's superior punching power is enough to beat Thurman, or Thurman's superior boxing skills are going to be enough to secure him a victory. I strongly fancy Thurman. I've long thought that either Thurman or Spence are going to um, prove themselves to be mm. the best welterweight of the coming generation. It's in these fights we're going to start to see that. For me, Thurman, he had that brilliant performance a long time ago against Leonard Bundu where he showed real boxing ability we didn't necessarily know he had. He already proved himself as a, as a fighter before then. He put the two together against Porter, showed himself to be a little bit vulnerable, which makes this interesting because Garcia can bang. And there's a touch of Badu Jack about Garcia and uh, a lot of fights you're tempted to pick, you, you can see him losing. Mm. Um, you're not necessarily overly impressed with his skill set. He can punch, he's strong, but he still finds ways to win. And it's not unthinkable that with Thurman's uh, vulnerability that, that he could hurt him. But I fancy Thurman strongly. I think he has a unanimous know, decision, probably about 116, 112 on, on the scorecards. There we go, the definitive. <laughs> the, the, the definitive. Um, <laughs> I, 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 